Hi, today we're going to look at EMEA's NFE Access product. Here you can see our VNF manager, which is uh, called our UCP manager. So what you're seeing here is NFE Access deployed on two multi-core Advent Tech uh, Intel-based platforms. Here we have um, an Advent Tech 3050, consisting of 16 cores, and a T011 consisting of four cores. From our UCP manager, I can deploy any number of third-party DNFs. I can onboard them through our graphical inter interface GUI uh, within the UCP manager. I can manage the VNF lifecycle, start, stop, create, pause, resume, and, and monitor their health. So as I mentioned, our UCP manager makes it very easy to onboard a third-party DNF. While I already have some VNFs onboarded today, I will show you how easy it is to instantiate them as well. But here, let's take a quick look at our catalog. I would select descriptors and see that I've onboarded both a packet generator and the Fortinet SD-WAN on both Adventech platforms. If I had additional VNFs, I would simply click onboard and select VM image and browse the catalog of VNFs that I've acquired. Here I will instantiate a simple VNF, iPacket generator, I'll select the VNF that I want. The defaulted here is the Fortinet, this will be iPerf. I'll click create, and you can see that my unique packet generator name that I gave it, IAP, is, is running and deployed on the 16-core Adventech Xeon D-based platform. So while we just covered onboarding and instantiating, I'd like to show you how the UCP manager manages the complete VNF lifecycle. So I can select the device that I'm interested in, pull down the Instances tab, and I can see this is the packet generator that I just onboarded. I can manage that lifecycle completely. I can stop it and you see the state change to stopped. I'll start it. I don't need that VNF anymore, so I'll simply delete it. So there, there are all, all kinds of additional VNF management capabilities that we've built into the UCP manager. Um, if I want to take a look at the virtual machines and the resource usage running, you can see on the 3050 that I have selected, I'm using three out of the 16 cores 21% of the memory, and 8% of the disk. I'll change devices, go to the smaller device, take a look at what's deployed there. Three out of the four CPUs are in use, 71% memory, and again, just 8% of the disk. It's the same disk footprint on both platforms, so it scales quite nicely in terms of memory consumption and, and um, overhead needed for disk storage. So as I've mentioned, we've onboarded the Fortinet SD-WAN um, VNF onto both Adventech platforms, the 3050 and the TO11. And you saw earlier that I instantiated the iPerf, which is a packet generator. So we have the packet generator running on both platforms as well, and we're simulating a branch-to-branch -branch connection um, with Advantech's hardware Fortinet's SD-WAN software and our virtual infrastructure, infrastructure manager along with our VNF manager, i.e. UCP manager that I've been showing you the functionality. So we've been looking at our UCP manager, but here you can see we have the Advantech hardware. On the bottom is the 3050 and on the top the T011. And you saw earlier that I had instantiated the iPerf packet generator. So that's been instantiated on both Advantech platforms in addition to the Fortinet SD-WAN VNF. So what we have is um, packet sourcing from one platform uh, to the other platform across the Fortinet SD-WAN um, VNF, and we have a simulated branch-to-branch -branch connection uh, between the two Advantech platforms, one, of course, representing a higher end branch and the smaller one representing maybe a lower, less populated branch in terms of employees and, and capacity needed.